guys, welcome to Max House and in today's video we are talking about all the items that a mom and a dad needs for a three to six month old baby. So let's get started. So this is a follow up to my newborn essentials what to buy for baby video. Um, there I shared a lot of great things that I purchased that really helped me as a mom again. Um, I did link those products in the description box of that video. So I will put that in the description box of this video um, so that if you want to see that, you can. But this is a follow-up because, again, my baby's grown now. Well, not like a grown person, but like she's growing and we have new items that we have purchased. Um, these things have really helped me transition because of course it's like that instant, okay, I'm a mom again and whoa, here's a little person, what do I do with this? To going back to work and having to figure that whole thing out. So here's some things that have been helpful in my journey. I hope that it helps you all out and let's go. So this is like an infant play gym that I purchased for her. It has like a little cushion mat that I lay her on and then she can reach up here if she wants to play with these toys. Um, she can pull them down. I can also like unclip them and like give them to her if I want to. There is a mirror for her to see herself. Um, and then down here is a little piano Green, yellow, orange. for her to like kick her feet on and then sometimes like I rotate these little side pieces and like you can like spin this so that it sits up so I'll like let her sit up because she's starting to sit up on her own now and then that way she can use her hands and then you can switch it to the piano function but this will entertain her for a while like sometimes if I need to cook food or something and just need a little break I can put her here and she plays a little bit next up is this playpen this originally was something she did not like I don't know if it's because she was boxed in if she felt trapped but she was not feeling this as she's gotten older now and she goes to daycare I feel like she tolerates it much better I can put her on her belly so she does tummy time in here look she has a random sock in here <laughs> but anyway so I have a, a few toys for her to play with a lot of stuff that's made for her little hands um like this thing it's supposed to be like where she can stack the stuff on here and the stuff is off of here because she took it off okay but again, I think it's really great for a baby because now, like, I don't have to worry about is she on the floor, is she eating something and putting stuff in her mouth that she shouldn't be. Like, she can be in a set area that I have put what she needs in. Um, yeah, so I really like it. It's very convenient. And this actually, like, you can pull it together and like make it compact so like you can put it away it doesn't have to just be out because it does kind of take up a lot of space so that um she can really like roll around and turn in circles and whatnot um another thing in terms of stuff which i've already mentioned and showed you all is like new toys that's for her age so she has like this she more so chews on the corners of this thing <laughs> But there's various little toys, and I'm, like, trying to get her developmental things. Because, again, she's, like, trying to teeth. And I like that this was, like, the black and white with the contrast. And, like, I got this from Marshalls for, like, probably $6, guys. Um, and then there's, like, a teeth and ring. And my mom gave this to her for Christmas. But it even, my little wiener dog, it has a, a bottle, I think, on the inside. So, like... She'll crunch it like that. But anyway, and then on Amazon, her godmom, one of her godmoms, 
gave her like these little books that also like make the little crunchy sound. So she's fascinated by these and then sometimes we read them to her and like we always like elaborate. So if it's uh, a ship, we'll talk about the ship being in water and how it floats and it carries people, our products, supplies. Uh, we may talk about the different parts on a ship and whatever. We just make up stories and whatnot. But yeah, she she oftentimes wants to chew on this. <laughs> but so toys was number three. So here's like a little rocking chair actually. It has a kickstand on the bottom. Let's see. Can I... So like this is the kickstand and bag it up that I can like push in Whew. and then it becomes like a little rocking chair for her I don't let her rock without me being right here and it's mostly because like sometimes like she's at the point where she leans forward like one day her head was like here <laughs> Leaning forward and thing, and I'm like, girl, you about to uh, flip your tail right on out of there. I always do strap her in, um, but I definitely do let her. She actually sits in this while I get dressed in the morning most of the time, if she gets up while I'm getting dressed. But anyway, so I mostly keep the kickstand out so that I don't have to worry about her um, rocking out the chair. And then this part, it can come off. You can clip it back in, but um, she loves this little thing. Like she is forever trying to reach for these and put them in her mouth and play. Sometimes I let one of these go and I bring it a little lower for her. When she first started sitting in a chair, she used to use her feet to try and kick them. Now she's moved on to the hands and I, it's just amazing to watch her grow and develop. But anyway, this is really good. Another something I use, like again, if I'm getting dressed, trying to cook, I use this to sit her at least for a few minutes because I find with babies, that with the babies, it's very hard to get like long periods of time by yourself or where the baby's just sitting still and not doing something where you have to look and see what's going on like maybe if the baby's sleeping or something but if the baby is up then most of the time it's like you end up having to hold the child so um by me having these seats and stuff it gives me like at least 15 minutes sometimes 30 minutes like she's starting to be able to sit on her own for longer periods now because before it was rough like anytime you went to like lean over like you was gonna put her down this girl was cutting up and i'm like sister girl what we gonna do <laughs> but anyway let's move on to other options so i also have like this little sitting chair now you might be like well dang y'all got a lot of chairs this one was actually given by her guy mom also so um and my son had one of these little chairs um i like this again um if i'm trying to clean the other one she has somewhere to sit um because the other one that i just showed you had the cloth that can be washed so this one is more like i can just use like a little wipe and soap and water to clean it off um it also still has the strap but I kind of can sit her here and like we can do little activities together. And I find this one, since it's upright, it, it helps her sit up a little better. Um, whereas this one, um, you can I can press this button and adjust this part. Like sit her up a little bit more or kind of lean her back. But it's not as upright as this. So anyway, I like them both. Um... And like I said, it's just great for when I need to get things done and putting her like on the side of me. Like, or if the boys are playing video games, like I can sit her right on the side of them and she plays. I mean, she's not playing the video game, but she be doing something laughing and kick all that stuff <laughs> on the side of the guy. So she be happily in her little seat. And I just go on and do what I need to do for the little time that I have. So, okay, so if you've seen some of my baby food making videos using my baby bullet, that's where this comes from. Um, 
this is an essential for me because I do not buy baby food at this point. Um, I make everything for her and I kind of like batch cook it all. So I will cook it in one day or two days and then freeze it and then make little Ziploc bags that have like the different things in it so like if it's carrots or apples pears and whatnot and then like i have these for when she needs to go to daycare um so some sort of food processing system um or baby making baby food making system or just a blender will work to make the baby food um i do have videos that i will also put in the description box so that you can see some of the recipes that we made and how i do that whole process so moving on okay something else that um really important to me in this time is vitamins so i'm still taking my prenatals um this is because i am still breastfeeding her yes child and it's a journey like let me know if y'all want to see a breastfeeding video or just content related to breastfeeding i ain't even gonna lie to y'all sometimes like i be wanting to give up on the whole thing like i'm really trying to push through again she's she she's made it thus far but sometimes it's just a struggle especially when you're busy but anyway um so let me know if y'all want to see a video about that but there's these prenatal vitamins. I take these to supplement my food intake because you know you still have to eat a little bit more when you're breastfeeding. And I also have these postnatal lactation plus vitamins. And these really help in increasing my milk supply. The only drawback to these is that when I was researching some of the ingredients in this, and it's also in like lactation cookies and the smoothies and all of that. So it's kind of the same ingredients, um, like that fenugreek stuff. Um, and there's a, some other stuff. There's the milk thistle, fennel, uh, marshmallow root at extract, a bunch of things in here. Um, uh, it's the same kind of ingredients in a lot of these lactation supplements. Um, but, and I don't know which of these specifically, but one of them kind of can cause like your blood sugar to drop. So I would find that I would be at work and I'm like, dang, why do I feel weak? And I would try and like eat more, but I was like getting weak and dizzy. And then so when I started researching, I'm like, dang, it's that supplement that I'm taking. So before I was taking two, because I think, yeah, two capsules daily when nursing are, are as recommended by your healthcare professional. So now I do one every now and then. And I feel like it kind of helps me with my supply because sometimes, like, I don't know why. It's like my milk supply will just go up and down. But um, I do know why. I have a couple of reasons just uh, being a nurse and what I know from my nursing background. But anyway, um, it's, it's just a struggle, okay? But these are like my mommy must-haves in terms of supplements to help me with breastfeeding. Another item is hair conditioner. Like, y'all know I love hair, beauty, makeup, all that stuff. So I am down for the new products. And I just love the Honest Company. And you know something I noticed my breastfeeding pill or supplement vitamin whatever um that's by the honest company too so the honest company i see y'all y'all really coming through with the products but i really love this brand a lot um i think i've mentioned it in other videos and it is uh it's a lot of great products that do not have like silicones um synthetic fragrances formaldehyde donors and whatnot that's and it's all listed like on the back so anyway we use this conditioner for the first time when i tell you like oh and let me tell you why i'm sorry let me backtrack so by her going to daycare now i feel like my baby hair was getting like dry 
and it was changing her curl pattern like it was making it like look rough in the back of her head and i'm like i can tell they have her laying down because it's like it's just changing that one spot in the back of her head and i'm like no ma'am we gonna moisturize that sucker so anyway <laughs> we started using conditioner and i've only used it one time thus far but i really have liked the results so uh, i'm excited about this because there really aren't many uh, baby hair products now granted it is a baby so maybe you don't need to be putting all that stuff on the baby's head but um, I just needed something because I, I was shampooing it and and if y'all seen my baby natural hair video you've seen my steps that I do with her hair this is an added step to be able to retain the moisture in her hair okay something else that I'm really excited about and it's a shame how excited I am <laughs> about products and they're not even mine but anyway do you see how freaking cute this little baby is y'all i was up in la Target, and i'm like i gotta get it for her like it's so cute but anyway this is a silicone bib and i like it because i can just wipe it and then like food can like fall in this little pouch part in the front so like yeah and i can just like clean it out when she's eating because that girl she can eat next up is like sick baby central <laughs> i got like her little nasal suction and i know there's like the other little device where you can like put it in their nose and suck the snot out i don't know that's just gross i'm not putting nothing to my mouth to suck nobody's boogers i don't care if it's my child or not um anyway <laughs> Um, and then I have like this coolant chest rub by Zarbies. Um, and it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, I guess it's a lighter version that's made for children and babies two months and older can use this uh, up to three times a day. So I put this like on her feet and I think it has it listed on the back. Um... Gently massage on the chest, neck, back, or bottom of the feet. Do not use on babies under two months of age. So, I definitely do put this on her to try and break up that congestion. Um, and then I have this Vicks Vapor. I think it's a vaporizer, humidifier, whatever. I do take the little Vicks pods out of here because I, I don't want to use that on her. Um... But you just fill this with water and then so at night time I will have this kind of blowing to humidify the air a bit for her. And this has really been like my little therapeutic hub station of products because we've been fighting her having a runny nose and cough and all that congestion for like over a month um now so it's like and it's been a little difficult i've definitely had some frustrating moments with it like <laughs> a er and three pediatrician visits later um she's doing better now but nonetheless that's kind of our little system that seems to be helping her like, breathe better at nighttime i really feel like that humidifier and then suctioning her um has helped out so Look at me in my little play suit. <laughs> okay, just kidding, guys. <laughs> I do love these little play suits that have, like, the little arms and legs and then the built-in little shoes. Um, I love these for daycare, especially because I feel like I don't need her skin and stuff to touch anybody or anything else, really, right now. So, this is nice and convenient for daycare. I actually just picked up this set um, the other night because she was starting to grow out of the ones that we had. But I definitely love the little play suits. And now we're done with the video. Done with the video. Done with the, done, 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 done with the, done, 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 done with the video. Done with the video. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you 
so much for watching this video. You guys make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments if you have anything else that you're doing that you will want to recommend to other moms because that is the whole point and goal of all of these videos is to help the next person um, in their journey. Thank you so much for watching and... Dang.